a Big Spark Studios original. Oh, hey. I'm aware that we're recording and I'm aware that I'm on the edge of death. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, the podcast that I'm going to try to not projectile vomit during because I am severely hungover. We'll get into that in a minute. But um, before we get into the episode, rate and review Unhinged with Chris Clemens and also subscribe to it wherever you listen to podcasts. It helps out a ton when you rate. And we've been sitting pretty on the charts for a minute. Not like the single digit charts, but like the triple digit ones. And listen, triple digits are always better. Except when it's money you owe the government. Um, And then also we have video episodes up on youtube.com slash Chris. Sorry. There is really the staff upstairs is just taking the day off. Just nothing. (laughs) Just white noise and (laughs) dumpster fires. Anyways. um, Now, before we get in to the rest of it, I wanted to... You guys love Sam and Justin. And I was thinking that it would be so fun to have if you guys have like ideas for shout outs like just to you guys might think of things that i don't justin do you have one i do have one i say as if we didn't talk about this before <laughs> um, justin <laughs> do you have one off the top of tip wow actually yeah the one just came to mind what is it tell <laughs> us <laughs> uh, also i have i'm getting over strep throat so i'm just trying to be cautious yeah he's the- yeah we, yeah there's nothing sus going on yes. just um, so I wanted to bring to the table, um, so it's called the Skate Park Project. Um, it was formerly the Tony Hawk Foundation. It's a skateboarding organization that helps build or helps communities build public skate parks uh, for youth in underserved communities. Love that. Um, so I think they do great work bringing skate parks to places that might not otherwise have access to them. I've made a lot of my lifelong friends through skateboarding. Skate parks are like a great place to build community. Yeah. And uh, friendships. I love that. See, I would never have thought of that. And then... Uh, Is that... Did you break your knee at a skate park? I broke my ankle at a skate park. Where, where knee, did you break your knee? And I broke my knee, I broke my knee uh, in a Pedlo skate park, like about a mile away from here. Work. Thank you for telling us where I live. <laughs> it's okay. I won't live here next week when this episode's out. So, oh, bye. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, um, no, that's awesome. And I think it's just great to give people a place that they feel like they fit in and can make friends. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I have like a little... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. No, tell me. Oh, okay. Uh, I wrote, Who I wrote, is he? You're yet. valid. I wrote a tiny blurb. Uh, I think skateboarding can teach valuable life skills like perseverance, falling down and getting back up, practicing something until you get it right, and the satisfaction that comes along with pushing yourself to succeed. Uh, I think it's a great creative outlet. Some view skateboarding as a sport. Some view skateboarding as an art form. I consider it to be my own form of therapy. Um, that's, yeah. Aww. So I wanted to shout them out. That's so nice. And thank you for the platform. Oh, my God. No, thank you. Oh, no, that's great. I love that. Sorry. I really cannot emphasize how much difficulty I'm having <laughs> speaking today. <laughs> like, it is just not for me. Um, that is great. I love that. Yeah, they do good work. Yeah, and it's also important to learn that you can crawl on a broken knee. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> and film a podcast. And film <laughs> fucking episodes. <laughs> you can, plural. Yeah. That is so crazy. It's I amazing s- what you can do when you put your Was mind that our it. first episode? <gasps> you know, oh, did, did, is it a year? Today is the year, Mark. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah, today, June tenth, was the oh, first day we released. My the God! <gasps> no. I and this is episode forty-five, something like that. Yeah. We're not gonna have this argument on <laughs> recorded. Has um, your knee healed in that year? As, yeah, as your, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I literally, I opened my eyes from laughing and I just see your foot this far away from Sam's yeah. face. And I was like, Where, how did we get here the in the end. blink of an eye? Good. We're healed. Wow. That is so. Oh my God, it's been a year. This has felt like the longest year of my life by far. It's been a year. One year. We've had like seven different sets. Wow, I feel like this episode is going to take a whole turn. I know, we should have done something. We should have done something. <laughs> We're so bad at planning this shit show. Happy like the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> the Oscars one still makes me laugh. Just at how hard we are laughing. Oh, I love living, laughing, and loving. Living, laughing, and loving. Anyways, this yeah. is so stupid. I figure we'll get into the secrets. Now, in every episode, you guys submit um, secrets. And I are they not in here? They're in there. Oh, okay. You're looking at me like, oh, you're pulling up your cheat sheet. 
sorry, I don't know why. There's just some things I should not bring up and vocalize, and like the planning and logistics of the show is maybe one of them, Chris. Anyways, there's a, a link in every episode's description where you guys can submit secrets that you've never told anybody. We compile them and put two secrets of your guys's on a sheet, and the producers make up one. And I have to guess which one is the lie. So, yeah, I just took the longest route at describing two truths and a lie, but with a twist. Anyways, first up, I work at Starbucks, and whenever a customer asks for a receipt, I always put my phone number on it and write, call me. So far, I've hooked up with seven customers. (laughs) I, now that is a girl boss. That is a girl boss, and you should gatekeep that, quite frankly. Oh, my God. See, there's so many things, looking back, when I had, like, regular job or like those these kinds of like jobs of like working at starbucks or that kind of thing i mean i was against weed and i was like a prude and like a a virgin honestly was i i don't even know i i say was i as if literally anybody would know including myself um no that see there's always times i wish i could go back and like oh my god if i could have worked with weed oh my god i would have been flying Oh, anyways, sorry. I'm just, I'm obsessed with that. Ingenuity. <laughs> I used to sell weed, coke, and molly to my boss. One time he claimed that a night on the molly I got him saved his marriage, but he divorced a few years later. That was just confusing. My sophomore year of high school, I lost my virginity in a gondola during a ski race. I totally read that, or er, visualize that so differently i thought i was thinking of a bobsled and i was like that's impossible you're a fucking liar oh that's kind of like the mile high club yeah but like up on the yeah you're on the little Mm. they're like why is that gondola swinging (laughs) that's so scary i would be terrified i'd be like gentle 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 (laughs) gentle okay okay yeah okay okay Oh my god! Yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah, no, it's yeah. If the, I'm like if afraid the, to like dangle my legs on one of those. If the gondola is rocking, yeah, that cock is cocking. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go with the. Do you guys have any guesses on this? Is there any that are jumping out to you? I don't know if it's just the Hangover, but gondola. Maybe the gondola one. That's what I was also thinking, but then the Molly one. But y'all are messy like that. Yeah, I'm going to do sophomore year of high school. Is that the fake? No, it's uh, Starbucks. What? (laughs) Every secret that I love is always the fake one. He's getting good at it. Yeah, you're getting good at it. Like, (laughs) see, this is also a problem I have is that I want that one to be true because it's so genius. I bet you it is true, but not. I bet you, I think (laughs) if we ask our listeners, somebody has that kind of experience. What is the fucking truth, bitch? Don't you think? I don't know. But right now it's made up. Did you make that up? What is wrong with you? You make up the craziest shit. And I'm like... Lucy and I have some crazy stuff, yeah. Oh my God. Y'all are freaks. Before we carry on with this episode, I want to thank one of the sponsors, which is Surfshark VPN. If you don't know, Surfshark VPN is an app or a browser extension that allows you to place your mobile device or laptop anywhere in the world and basically surf the internet as if you're in that location. If you guys don't know, Surfshark has supported the podcast quite extensively and they help keep your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet, which keeps your personal data protected from big companies or cyber criminals. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, which means if you're on holiday, you can change your virtual location back to your home country so that you don't miss out on any home comforts. And you can also do that when you're at home. If you want to watch other countries, Netflix libraries, say in the UK, you can watch American Office. Does that make sense that America doesn't have its own office? No, but America doesn't make sense. I've talked about it before, but another great thing is when you're on public Wi-Fi, Nobody can hack your personal videos, data, photos, etc. It's all safe. Now, if you're hesitant, Surfshark does have a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as the ability to have an unlimited amount of devices on one account, which is huge. As if Surfshark couldn't get any better for the month of June, they are giving away their antivirus for free to anybody who signs up using code CLEMENS throughout June. So be sure to go to the link in the description and use code CLEMENS for not only 83% off plus three extra months for free, but also for Surfshark's free antivirus that they're giving out in the month of June. Thank you again, Surfshark, for sponsoring this podcast. And let's get back to the episode. 
Um, all right, next up. Before we were married, me and my now husband were having sex in a car in an empty parking lot, completely naked. That's usually how sex works. <laughs> Three cops suddenly drove over to our car, so we got into the trunk from the back seat of the car and hid. They searched the car with flashlights, but they never caught us. That feels like a lie. My roommate was teaching me how to give a blowjob with a vibrator, and I chipped my tooth because I accidentally turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are fucked up. Y'all are so fucked up. My roommate was teaching me how to give a blow. I mean, that is just like start to finish. I want to see like the footage of that. It's been almost three years and my parents still think I'm in med school. <laughs> ah, I love you guys. Um, I'm going to go with the before we were married, my now husband. That's the fake one. Please don't let me down. Just lie to me. I mean, I did lie. And the chipped tooth is the lie. Holy shit. What <laughs> is wrong with you? I know that we don't do these anymore, but you need better help. <laughs> That's probably accurate. That's like the one time. Also, apologies to everybody who had to endure those. I really, I'm sorry. But it is a public service announcement too, because be careful. You could chip your tooth. Yeah, on a vibrator, trying to learn how to give head from your roommate. Yeah, could you? It's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's got a sexy imagination. No, it's like actually concerning what goes on up there when oh my god i'm just now seeing pictures of last night show us oh you'll see there's a lot of content coming out of last night oh my god <laughs> oh my god wait where is that meet and greet picture there was like a whole ass photographer where is that sorry i needed to send a voice memo i need wait why am i texting her and not the person who <laughs> I'm afraid to ask, but is there a meet and greet pick of me? Okay, so I don't. Oh, I was ordering a pizza and trying to do it suave, and then I saw a text. Sorry, I'm ordering us lunch, guys. Uh, um, I was gonna schedule it, and then I really didn't know when we would start. And the last thing I'm gonna face today is jeopardizing pizza. Um. Okay. Anyways. What are we doing? Where are we? We're segueing into your... No, I don't think we are. We still have more secrets. <laughs> oh, shit. As a kid, I would kill my pet goldfishes by squeezing them to death. What is it with y'all and goldfish and killing them? It's fucked up. That's like the seventh secret I feel like we've fucking had about this. And then I get tagged now all the fucking time because of this podcast on TikToks that are th of things that we've talked about. And so many of them are like killing goldfish. And I get, I'm like, guys, I don't know why this is my thing. I would like it to not yeah, be. I've never killed a goldfish. <laughs> we should do it. We should do a PSA. <laughs> Wait, like an really? SNL, like goldfish are in danger. Yeah, not endangered. They're just in danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we're onto something. Let's tell, let's get on a call with Lauren Michaels. <laughs> My mom slept with my AP phys... Oh, wait. Did we ever get the... Oh, the... Yeah, I'm so sorry. My mom slept with my AP physics teacher so I could get an A in the class. Mm -hmm. That feels fake. Right? That just... Anyways. I once used... I once used to meet... Oh, I once used to meet up with this older guy at the gym and mess around with him in the men's steam room. This went on for about a few months until I saw him and his wife and his kids at Costco. Mm. That see, I love those stories until there's like a family. You know? It's not it's not fun being the family with a cheating dad. <laughs> um, I'm God. I'm gonna go with the physics teacher, however, that I, I think it's all of them. Are you sure? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> fucking call a friend. You wanna call a friend? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Hey, Jake. Just tell me which one is the fucking lie. Oh, uh, AP physics. It is. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Slay. What a slay. Yeah, you could have... <laughs> that one was where you were like, my imaginations run dry. I don't give a shit. Is there anything in this? I could just open the envelope. Hi, booger. If I wants to eat one. I know. Oh my God, she destroyed my pillow in my room. My Murakami oh, pillow. Oh, I saw that. That sucks. thought I was going to kill her. Oh my God, ice cream. How is she supposed to know, though, she has good taste. She has great taste, in fact. Um, oh, God, they're getting the photographer's pics. Oh, dear. I'm so scared. Um, yeah, I left. I've been leaving her out of the crate. 
And I left her in my room. She's been in, she's done that a lot. And I've like done that a lot. And she's never had a moment. I came home. I was like, what? Something looks like it's on my bed. Yeah, no, it was the stuffing of a fucking pillow that cost so much money that I was like, I'm, I can buy this now. I'm gonna. <sighs> it's fine. It's just a pillow. I'm happy to have my dog. <laughs> you could like patch it up. No, I can. I'm just honestly about to give it to her as a chewed toy. I mean, kind of a flex. She, she thought. And it I, no, it's like a fuck flex. It's like a fucking fl- a fuck flex. Whatever. It's a fuck. <laughs> it's a fuck flex. My twin and I made a deal oh, that if she took my SAT, she could sleep with my boyfriend. She got me a shitty score on a test and is now dating my boyfriend. I don't like that one. I just don't. Why would you want your twin to, to hook up with your boyfriend? Oh, I didn't hear the twin part. <laughs> My twin and I made a deal <laughs> that if she took my SAT, she could sleep with my boyfriend. She got me a shitty score on the test and is now dating my boyfriend. I don't know why you're mad. Like, I'm sensing, like, anger and bitterness in this. Did you make this? I oh, fuck this. I hate this game. I At my first ever Brazilian, I accidentally farted in the waxer's face as she had my cheeks spread and she was applying wax to my butthole. I quite literally almost did that. I had the biggest fart in my asshole, like just just beneath the surface. I mean, the fact that there wasn't like minor leaks is incredible. And all, I mean, I was holding my ass cheeks open for the longest time. I was like, when is like my arms were sore and I was like all trying to hold in a fart while doing this. And then I was thinking, I mean, like I am a very prestigious. A prestigious. <laughs> I am a prestigious wiper. Like I make sure that there is like not a drop of brown on that toilet. Like, I don't even... If there's a inkling of a color residue still on the toilet paper as I wipe, I'm like, another one. Until it's red. And, oh, no, until there's blood fully. Well, you- that is, like, my butthole wiping routine. I don't know why... Whatever. Anyways, so I was... Wasn't... I knew I didn't have any, but I was so worried about, like, oh, my God, did I wipe my ass really well? You know? Like, I don't know what's going on down there. I don't know if there's weird nooks or crannies that I'm not accounting for. It's folds. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, so I feel you, if that's real. When I was 16, I worked at Taco Bell. I had to check the bathrooms during work, and I saw my coworker doing a line off the toilet. Wow. Liv Moss. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just do it off like, your finger, like a normal person off the toilet. Oh, uh, like the back of the toilet. Any part of the toilet at a Taco Bell yeah. is an inappropriate place to be directly putting anything in your nose. <laughs> do it off a crunch wrap. And like, <laughs> period. Do it off a fucking tortilla. <laughs> like that. That is living moss. <laughs> that is living moss. But I just like want to know like how bad this had to get for this spike person. Your, spike your Baja Blast. That sounds fun. <laughs> But also, like, when you do the C word. Sure. We might have to bleep that one. Okay. Um, when you do it what? When you do, like, white powder, you also, like, basically, like, their whole face was also on the toilet then. Mm. Like, I'm seriously disturbed. Is that Andrew? I think okay. so. It's like a tall man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Looming. It's a slender man. <laughs> yeah. Did you try to see, like, the right, shadows? Guys. Um, okay, guys, I'm back. Oh, that's... Oh, God. Okay. I got a dice from a Stizzy thing, and I just found it on the floor, and it has a bunch of different stuff. With the player to your left, on your knees, twice, while spinning in a circle, with your eyes closed. Wait. Is this I, a sex game? I know. Like, save that for shut. later. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Anything? Secrets. Secrets. Sorry. <laughs> Um, That's well, sorry for you. Oh, but you have to put like your whole face faces. on the shit. Like, ew, gross. Not if you use like a the oh, like the straw. Yeah, from your Baja Blast. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right for that. You are so <laughs> right for that. And that's the oh, yeah, Sam. That's the ultimate way to do it. I'm, I've never done drugs in a Taco Bell. I just want. I don't. Think I don't really think I have to, either. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I, I've been on drugs in a Taco drugs. Bell. I think I've done drugs with you in a Taco no, Bell. You haven't. That's I, Which ones? The one in Pacifica on the beach. Have you ever seen that one? No. <laughs> You meant what drugs? Oh, I, this is that is the best Taco Bell though. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is really earning its name today. It's earning its stripes. 
Um, I'm going to go with the third one, the Taco Bell one. I just can't. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I don't know anymore. Go with your gut. <laughs> if I'm going with my gut, it's to the bathroom right now to vomit. Um, Which one would you want to be true? I don't care. I just want to be horizontal. The talk, the the ugh, fucking Brazilian, because that was true. Although I think that one's made up because you heard my story and you fucking stole that. I must go with Brazilian. Two twins in the SAT. That felt the realist. Wow. Wow, you got me stumped. St- 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 whatever. I was going to try and come up with like three S words that meant like stump, surprised, and shut. Oh, I did it. Wow. I have a twin story. Ooh. So I knew these two. Are you a twin? No. Oh. No, so. I'm an only child. If that's, not, if that's, not, so a par- if that's not a yeah. parent. <laughs> that makes so much sense. What? Also, though, that gives everyone the ick. No, it doesn't. An, oh, no, you're not an only child. <laughs> Sorry. I am a year. <laughs> quite literally a middle kid. <laughs> and you've also met my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Where we have talked about my brothers, Your brothers on this podcast. I know. I, I didn't mean to say you <laughs> seem no, like it's, an only uh, child. Too, That's probably really rude. <laughs> too many late I nights at that. Taco Bell for Samantha. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poor Samantha. Um, no, I have a quick twin story. Yeah, I would love to so hear it. So in college, it. I need these two twins. They're sick. Uh, but they had... Like ill or like cool? They're cool. Oh, okay. I didn't they're know very, if they were like... They're very nice boys. And they look exactly the same. Uh, twins. But... They had a class. They both had separate classes in college with this one girl, and she invited them both separately to the same party. And it became she. she, It became apparent that she was trying to get like a. She was trying to get twinned. That's the story. Yeah. Okay. Is that not a good story? Two twins. A set of twins. Yeah, a set of twins got invited to a party so they could fuck the same girl at the same time. So I guess I was just expecting bigger. I was expecting Moss. Isn't that like that's like incest though too? Oh. Because they're twins. Oh, I didn't think about they're that. They're brothers. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wonder if twins jerk each other off. So, wait, they did. So, <laughs> you know, you like, if you had a... Tw- no, if I guess if I had a twin, I wouldn't do that. So, never mind. If that's where, Thank we, you. If that's where we landed, then the story was worth it. <laughs> I don't think they... We do. have to delete this episode. I, I mean, Jesus. I don't think they do. No, but I... If you're, but, Colin... It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, if you do, let us know. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, it really is actually wild when you think about things like like the questions I just asked. If I just took a second to think about if I would do that, I would have my answer. No, I would not jerk off my twin. But I would think about it because clearly I just did. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know why this podcast went to West Virginia. Um, anyways, <laughs> we are going to move on and I'm going to explain why I'm so fucking ho- <sighs> holy. <laughs> why I'm so hungover. Um, I went... Oh, I was so excited for last night, too. And it just went so south so quick. So last night was a very fun, was supposed to be a very fun night. And it was a fun night. But I just have so much regret this morning about my actions. I'm so sorry if I came in contact with you last night. Not because I have COVID, just because literally such a fucking nightmare. Oh, my God. I don't know why. When I consume alcohol, I terrorize Everything. Everything. I just become a menace to society. (laughs) And I know that that's not like unique. It's like so many people with alcohol like do that. But (sighs) so yesterday was Wednesday, Thursday. I have no idea what day it is anymore. (laughs) Yesterday was Thursday and I got invited. Oh my God. I mean, this was like, ah! So I got recently into Drag Race and um, Drag Race comma RuPaul, not like with cars. Um, and everyone's like, no, we, we got it. Um, <laughs> and so I watched this season and there was a drag queen named Willow Pill. And she is everything like just so wacky. So <laughs> just so fucking unreal, like so unhinged, like purely unhinged. So my friend texted me like last week, maybe this last weekend. I don't remember at some point. And he was like, hey, my friend is doing PR for this drag show and they need, they have two VIP tickets left that they're trying to give to someone. Would you want to go? I know that you said you liked Willow Pill. And I was like, oh, yes, yes. And so I was like, holy shit, like freaked out. My friend Katya was with me and we both, she's obsessed with Willow as well. And we were like, oh my God. So like, this was like, 
I mean, this was like more exciting to me than like a fucking Hillary Duff concert in 2008. You know, like this was like real shit. I was like, ah, I guess it was the same level. So I'm like, oh my God. I get an email about it. She's like, the lady who's like invited us or whatever is like, all right, so let me read the email because it truly sent me into like an even bigger spiral. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. I really was so afraid that that was going to be vomit. Hi, Chris. Excited to meet you on Thursday. My friend, pass along your email for Drag Yourself to the Valley. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8. It'll take place in the Garland's in the Garland's Ballroom, which the Garland is like a hotel that I'd never been to or seen in Studio City. And I was shook. It was like a resort, it felt like. Oh, maybe I got their buzz, though. Maybe that. Okay, see, this is like investigative research. Um... Anyways, there will be a check-in stand at the front and your name will be on the guest list as a VIP and your guest. As a reminder, this ticket includes a meet and greet with the performers (laughs) and reserved seating at the edge of the stage. (laughs) Which sounds so lit, in theory. Until the day comes and I acted the way I acted. So I also had my friend Stas' birthday party after this and so I invited Katya to that as well so we were gonna go get dinner go to the drag show and then go to this birthday party that was the plan spoiler alert it doesn't go to plan um so we go to dinner at this restaurant Thai show and it's like Asian food oh my god it was just on the episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and I shit my pants I was like I recognize that valet stand <gasps> ah! I was like freaking out. I saw like my favorite host. I saw like my waiters. I was like, hey guys, I saw you. I saw like the owner. I was like living. I did not see us, surprisingly. So shocked that we were not dining there because I feel like we go there all the fucking time. Anyway, so we go to dinner and we invite uh, invite Esther, who's Katya's girlfriend, and Andrew. And um, so we're at dinner, we're having drinks, and Andrew's driving us to the drag show. So we're both just drinking. Our, Katya and I are drinking. Um, And so I guess, like, maybe I got a little buzzed there. And I also drank on an empty stomach. Oh, my God. This is all making sense. Oh, this is all making sense. So I got a double vodka, which makes sense. Um, But I only drank half of it because it was literally too much vodka. Um, So I switched to want. (laughs) I'm hearing it. Oh, my God. And they also, every time we go to Taisho, because we, like, went during, like, their first week open. And then... We were like, wait, this is so fucking good and right down the street from us. What the fuck? So we've just been going there. Like, like they know us. They set up drinks for us. Like, they treat us like... I, I don't think I've ever felt so fucking cool as when I go there. Like, they're like, move. And everyone's like, who the fuck are they? <laughs> we get, like, a four-person booth for two people. Or, like, a six-person booth for two people. Like, it's, they are so good to us. It's so, like one of those places where like you're always going to get free drinks or like some sort of Yeah, and of they like always give I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. They give us like a glass, they give us like a thing of sake usually and then they the the new thing is we've been getting a dish for free now too and I'm like mm. um and so yeah, we went there and I had like two glasses of wine and we had sake, which is like a little though. Okay, I hear it. <laughs> I hear it, you fucking idiots. <sighs> Alrighty, before we carry on with the rest of the episode, I want to thank another sponsor of today's episode, which is Dadgrass. If you guys don't know, Dadgrass is legal, smokable, organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind, and is also something that I smoked this morning in my hangover pain. Thank you. Their 100% organic pre-rolled joints are very low in THC and high in CBD, so you can enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping a clear head. I've talked about it endlessly, how great these are during the workday. Like, just to take off all of that professional anxiety. (laughs) Professional anxiety. Whatever. Think of it like chilling out with like a glass of wine instead of the whole bottle. Like I did last night. (laughs) Now, if you're concerned, all Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 21 and over. And it ships uh, right to your door anywhere in the U.S. What more could you ask for? (laughs) 
So whether you are looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. So be sure to head to dadgrass.com slash unhinged right now to get 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash unhinged. Oh, but Chris, what was that? dadgrass.com slash unhinged, baby. Let's get back to the episode and thank you for sponsoring. <sighs> Anyways, so... We get in the car, we get dropped off, and we get four drink tickets each. (laughs) Four. Four. I also got $100 in ones to tip, like, the drag queens. And I was like, oh my god, if we're at the fucking edge of the stage, I need money. So I think I might have gotten 200 and like I live for, I like I love giving people money. I don't know why. I love it. I don't know why I love it. Oh my god, it's the best. And throwing it. Oh my god, I, you're not supposed to do that. Apparently, everyone was like handing it, waiting, and I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even remember that until right now. Ugh, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Anyways, so we get there, um, and it's like an outside thing, and then there's like the ballroom. I don't know. There was like a courtyard where there was like an outside bar. I'm not really sure. I can't, like, I cannot emphasize how little, how much of a blur this whole thing is. (laughs) So we get a glass of champagne and we sit at the table. And there's two other girls at this table who we don't know. And these poor fucking girls. (laughs) So we're sitting there. The show starts. Um, You know, it's like really everything's going fine. Like, we're just giggly and like buzzed at this point. The show's starting and we are progressively more and more drunk. And I, at some point, the table cloth was so fucking long at the table, got like caught in my thing. So when I went to get up to like go to the stage to give money, I pulled the whole thing off. Like the whole thing, drinks, all the drinks were on me and <laughs> not because I was paying because they were physically on me. My pants, I just found in my room <laughs> this morning, <laughs> still soaking, oh. still drenched. So why did they make we, it so long? I don't know. You think if we wrung the pants out, we could get like a shot out of it? I would like you to leave and never come back <laughs> after asking that question. That is repulsive. Um, I'm just thinking about what color it would be. Um, So after that, I'm like, okay, we need more drinks, which was not the case at all. So (laughs) we get up and we're like, okay. (laughs) We get up and go get drinks. We come back in and it's intermission. We're like, oh, is Willow after the the intermission? Like, no, Willow just performed. (gasps) Oh. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) L? Oh, L. LOL. Like, fucking LOL. So then we're like, oh, wait, this show is a lot longer than we thought. So they did a whole second act where everybody came back on and performed. So we luckily got to see her. But what did she do? No idea. (laughs) No idea. I have pictures. No idea. You don't remember? Was it like a song? Yeah, she did. I think um, Enya. Oh, (gasps) sick. Who can say whether? She is iconic. Like, watch willow pill i hate people iconic that was her drag race spoiler alert finale performance um oh my god it was iconic and i listened to the song it's like i hate people and i'm like oh my god that is me and i was people last night um so like i don't know somehow we ended up (laughs) we just decided we like could not show our faces on the table again we were like horrified also adore delano who is one of oh so we are at his table with the vip and um i apparently stole it so i just have to get that out of the way we also got (laughs) we also got these fans and i have never really been a fan a fan girl i've always been a fan girl but never like a girl with a fan (laughs) you can do that so you best believe i was doing that all night just (laughs) that Literally on repeat for minutes at an, at a time. Everyone is just like, what the fuck? So I'm like doing this. I'm throwing money. I mean, like I am a drag queen at this point. Like I am just a drag queen at this point, minus makeup and a wig. Hi, Bug. Do you want to smell it? Get up. Oh. Yeah, is this what you're going to? No, 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 no. Not a chew toy. 
Not a chew toy, baby. You've done she enough really damage. She really wants to put it in her mouth. Okay. She's a dog. No, Do not suck. No. I think she really wanted to I'm just her. fucking with you. Yeah. So anyways, there at some point while we are getting drinks or the intermission, Adora Delano, who was one of the drag queens there, came up to me. I was like, oh, my God, I love you and all of that. And I was like, oh, my God, amazing. And then apparently all I did was talk about Willow Pill to her. I was like, I'm just so excited. I love Willow. Blah, blah. And Kat, I FaceTimed Katya today because I was like, how bad was it? And she was like, I'm so in so much pain. And I was like, me too. We were both just like fucked up. And she was like, yeah. And then you just kept bringing up Willow to her. And I was like. That is the rudest thing ever. That is the rudest thing ever. She's like, I am such a fan. I'm like, thanks. Anyways, I love the person who's performing after you. Like, <laughs> psychotic. Anyways, had the best time meeting her, though. Like, she was so nice and, like, cool and funny. And so um, I followed her on Instagram today. <laughs> there was no follow back, so that's weird. Um, but anyways, so at, that was another highlight of the night. And then... Because we just could not show our faces at the table again, um, we found a table in like the back corner and we were just standing at it. And there are videos of me literally going <laughs> up to the front <laughs> with this fucking fan doing this and just singing. <laughs> I mean, I'll play the fucking footage. Katya has so many videos of me last night that I'm almost ready to drop her as a friend. I'm like, this needs <laughs> to be yeah. gone. Why would she help you? What are these pictures? No. Oh my God, I have pictures with Adore Delano too. I don't remember these. Oh, mom. Oh, mom. Oh my God, what? We also lost all of our drink tickets. I'm starting to think that maybe we used them all. <laughs> yeah. um, but then there's, we were eating chips off of the table. Oh. This is disturbing. Anyways, oh, wait, Willow came out in the full outfit from, because the oh. who will say where the road goes, that was her first song on Drag Race, I think, and she did this weird performance, and she was wearing the outfit. I had no idea. I could literally off myself. I really could. I'm so mad that I missed all of this. And so, okay, I'm just trying to go through because there's a lot of, oh, these were Katya's pictures. Okay, so here's the video of me fully just at the front while oh. Willem Dafoe, who I know personally, <gasps> Willem, oh, oh Willem Belly, Willem Belly. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. I always think. <laughs> Willem Dafoe I, is awesome. I always call her Willem <laughs> Dafoe. Because that's what I thought her name was. It's Willem Belly. <laughs> Willem Belly. Yeah, right here. I met her through Christine. And so we've hung out before. And so, like, <laughs> me drunk is handing her money while she's performing. And, like, making direct eye contact. <laughs> being like, hey, it's me. Even though I already told her I was going to be there. Psychotic. So I'm just, like, such a mess at this point. It's so mortifying. And then it's time for the meet and greet. And I was like, I really don't think we should stay for this. I really don't think this is a good idea. The meet and greet photo is awful. I took one on my own camera. I handed it to the professional. I handed him a shitty G7X. And I was like, Can you take a picture? Um, I just remember being blackout. And me in the picture, I'm holding mm -hmm. the VIP sign. Holding the VIP. And uh, as someone who has done meet and greets before. I see them so differently. If someone walked into a meet and greet as drunk as I did with a VIP sign and held it in the photo, I guess that would have been funny. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I provided entertainment and some like shit talking after the show. But I was just, hum that is not the way I wanted to meet Willow Pill. That is so fucking humiliating. We, the meet and greet, you go up on the stage and there's just a line. Tom Daly was there, the diver. The, the British diver, Tom Daly. He's married to like... I don't even fucking know or care. But he was there. He's, I thought you guys would know him. Um, anyways, he was there and like. He's an Olympic champion. Yeah, he was like a British Olympic diver. Like many gold medals. Anyway, so he was there and I just remember thinking like, oh my God, he's not drunk. I'm wasted. He's got to think I'm just like a slob kebab. <laughs> and we go up on stage for this meet and greet. And I'll give you the photo. Ask for the photo because it is dark. I'm, the face I'm making, I'm like. 
I want all the yeah. I want all of it. Um. So you might have to mute them because it all has like music, obviously. Oh, uh, okay. It's it just was like such a fucking nightmare, and then I literally was too drunk to go to the birthday party. Oh, there's a birthday party after. Yeah, my friend Stas was having a full birthday party that I was gonna go to from there, and I was like, I literally on my story. <laughs> another thing I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I put on my story. <laughs> oh, I saw. I, saw. I woke <laughs> up with like seven. Hundred DMs on Instagram. It literally said, "I'm sad I missed your birthday party at Stas, but it's for the best. I missed. LOL." And I look, oh yeah, Ill. my eyes are in eight different directions. <laughs> oh my god! I just and then I woke up in so much pain next to a balled up wet towel that I showered with, and then laid in. I was butt ass naked. God, oh my God, but Andrew, so I I wanted to bring Andrew to this as well, but I only had a plus one because he also loves Willow Pill. So I was like, girl, get over here. Come on over. Like, I think we can sneak you in. Nobody checked tickets. Nobody fucking did anything. I was like, get on over. So he comes and is with us (laughs) for most of this sober, sober. And then he's in the meet and greet. So he got to meet Willow too. And he was, I was like, oh, I made a full of myself he goes no I also did I was like but you weren't wasted and you remember it at least he's like okay that's true I don't remember what he did to make a fool of himself but I think he's being dramatic um it was just like really embarrassing like the worst part is waking up the day after drinking and being like what how bad was it like waking up and not remembering any of it and feeling oh I was fully drunk this morning like you guys were texting about the podcast and I was like I'm sitting this combo out I, uh, this is not for me. I live in the studio. I am not, I don't need to coordinate timing, even though I really probably should have. Um, yeah, it, I think, I, I, think, I, I think, just feel so embarrassed today. I think because alcohol is like a depressant, you always like wake up the next morning, especially if it's patchy the night before you feel like you were worse. Than patchy, you... bitch. It's one big black hole. But I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you, you were probably fine and fun. It sounds like. Mm, oh, well. So I text the fucking girl who invited me. Or not. No, it's not. (laughs) Oh, shit. It's like, I mean, I. she goes, thank you so much for coming. This is the text I get from her, by the way, the person who invited me. Is this your friend or like a My friend's friend. My friend's friend. Oh, okay. So I don't know this girl. She's a PR girl, I think. Okay, okay. I, I don't know. I truly can't emphasize how little I know about last night. Thank you so much for coming last night. Three exclamations. Hope you had fun, Dash. You were the star in the show in the back during the second act. <laughs> <laughs> when did she send that? 11.13 a.m. Thank you so much for coming last night. Hope you had fun. You were the star of the show in the back during the second act. Do you think that's shade or do you think you were reading into that a little bit too much? Fully reading in. But you, all, you also posted the funny video of you being the star of the show, right? Maybe she saw it. I don't know. I no, I mean, she knew I was wasted. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's also her fault. She gave me four drink tickets each. I said, thank you so much for having us. I don't know how I got so drunk. It was alarming and I'm so embarrassed. She goes, ha 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 ha, you're good. It's a drag show. Literally the owners were taking shots at intermission. You're good. Yeah. That's you're fine. different. You had fun. <laughs> Oh, I had a blast. Yeah, so... But, like, I just feel disrespectful. I just feel, like, so disrespectful for, like, upstaging drag queens at their own fucking show and, like, just being... I think you would have literally had to, like, jump on stage or do something, I feel like I did! Uh, Did you? I I don't know! (laughs) (laughs) I don't know! I doubt... I think you're fine. People wanted you to have fun. I know, but it, it, like, just wasn't, like, the vibe. Like, everyone was sitting at their, like, round... Tables. They're boring. Yeah, boring. Yeah, exactly. Boo. What you said. You're so you right. Yeah, you're yeah, you so right. Us. This was like all I was doing though. It Booker sounds hates. like you're being a super fan though. Like it sounds like you're being. I like, know, but then supportive. I think about that and like I think about. It's just hard because I grew up being like, just a fan. Like I am such a fan of things, like of people, of like I thrive in being a fan, and then. I've somehow turned into like being on the opposite end where it's like I have fans and now all the stuff I used to do has such a different like context because I now know what it feels like to be on the receiving end of that. And I just am horrified by that. I am horrified by that. But if you had some event, like you would probably want your fans to be like having yeah. fun That's and so like doing true. silly things and like stealing little I just feel so embarrassed. Like I just... 
Well, uh, stop it. You're so stop <laughs> it. I'm like literally like Do you like think you're liquid I'm like IV? I'm like literally shrinking right now. I'm like, yeah, oh my god, should, I'm we, like freaking out. We, like Sam's right. We should get you a liquid IV. No, he well, he's drinking a, the mixture. No, but I mean like the oh the actual oh, one. I don't, oh, we should have done. No, I I've done those before. Oh, really? And I got really sick after one. Oh. It was like I could just. I don't know if it was I was already getting sick and it just was like happened, but like you feel really fucked up after them just because you have a billion of vitamins right into your bloodstream. Mm. Like your body's like, what the fuck? Mm. So I have like a little bit of a turn off to those, but I'm so humiliated. <laughs> just fucking humiliated. <gasps> the pizza's on the way. Okay, we're not doing Chris's <laughs> court today. Sorry. That story was long and traumatic enough, and I feel like we've just <laughs> heard, seen, felt enough. So thank you so much for checking in with me uh, today. <laughs> I'm really just like, why do I tell the stories I tell on this fucking internet? <laughs> on this internet. Um, thank you so much. Be sure to rate and review and give us all your kisses and... Give us all your listens. I don't know, guys. I just, I really can't emphasize how much I need to lay down. Oh my God, we have to record another episode after this. Hooray! And street videos. Hooray! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know when people are like, you can do it? No, I can't. Chris, turn this off. I don't know how to, but just get me out of here. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh. Oh, God. Thank you. Hit the fan one more time. Yeah. Oh. Woo. <laughs> I literally was. <laughs> You're telling me I was having, I was fun. It sounds That's... like, it sounds like a whoopee cushion. I, well then this morning I'm telling people on like stories and stuff. And I was like, yeah. And all night I just kept whipping a fan. And then I was like, what does that even sound like? Cause it sounds like I'm yeah. talking about straight up harassing Chris, my fans. But, no, but one could, no one confirmed that you did anything bad. Everyone is saying like you had fun. Yeah, I mean, I was thanked for coming. So I guess yeah. that's like, I just am too self-conscious. I'm so insecure and like, I just, I don't want to get canceled and I don't want to be disrespectful. And like, I just feel like I was both of those last night. <laughs> so I was just really strong. Like, I know I'm a good person and I wouldn't do anything bad, but like, with alcohol, who the fuck knows? It's just scary and I really care about being a good person, which is something I should probably just stop. <laughs> well, just don't you don't mix wine and... and Sake eat, and eat vodka. More. Eat more so true. And champagne, so true. No, I ate a... No, I didn't. <laughs> this is all explaining so much. Thank you. I don't know why I'm still talking. I need to go. <laughs> all right, we're going to go eat pizza. Bye. I went to get my drink. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love Willow!